Business Alliance seeks help after renewed restrictions. The Alliance of Frontline Business Trade Associations, which includes trade bodies representing retailers, small businesses, F&B players and tenants, collectively asked for help after being faced with renewed restrictions starting today. Firstly, the Alliance petitioned for landlords to provide rental relief proportionate to the revenue losses caused by the reimposed restrictions. In response, two landlords, City Developments Limited and Capitaland, have agreed to look into waiving rents and increasing rental payment flexibility. However, Singapore Tenants United for Fairness Chairman Terence Yao still pointed out that landlords had only provided significant help last year when they were mandated by the government to do so. Furthermore, the Alliance sought wage support from the government to ensure that most of the 370,000 workers employed by the retail and F&B sectors will be able to retain their jobs. Finance Minister Lawrence Wong reassured them that help was on the way, and uh, as he would provide a support package similar to that which was provided during the previous Phase 2 heightened alert from 16 May to 13 June. If the new package is similar to the old one, uh, then it should cost roughly $1.2 billion and focus on cash payouts to provide rental relief and wage support. The package will probably be funded through reallocation of government spending. Additionally, the Alliance asked for bank loan principal payments to be further delayed until June next year. Singapore Retailers Association President R. Dina Karan also requested for foreign worker levies to be waived to reduce manpower costs.